Hello peeps, it's a hillbilly halfway. How are you today? Uh, just to do a short video today, just to say, uh, God, the last few days I've been feeling quite rough and the video I did yesterday, the content was good, but the I didn't notice that the camera was shaking so much until later when I got home, so sorry about that. <laughs> uh, I'm still suffering with this lurgy at the moment, so I didn't notice that the camera was shaking. So um, I'd just like to thank everybody for commenting and subscribing and it seems like I got a lot of friends and people watching me and which is nice to know and uh, thank you all for watching. All I'm doing is saying what everybody wants to say. I do afraid to really aren't they? So um, not a really major thing today, but um, tell you what I was will talk about though. Is the other day I saw Carol Vorderman being interviewed on Jeremy Vile, and she had like a little manifesto which she wanted to do, and it, it was quite chilling, really. Uh, of course, most of the people who run our country for all of my lifetime and for hundreds and hundreds of years have come from these big schools like Eton or whatever. And she wanted to close Eton, which I suppose sounds like if you're into that thing, that's that's a good thing. But she only wanted to close the one school. Elle, calm down. She only wanted to close the one school. She still wanted to keep all the rest of the toffs open on her side. So I thought <laughs> it's a bit... Don't quite get that. If you want to close them all, close them all, not just the one. So I don't think they can actually see how daft they sound. She always also wanted to ban certain people from being political leaders. Obviously the ones she didn't like of parties. Uh, she also wanted proportional representation, which there is an argument for it, but if you've lived in Wales now for the last 25 years, you've, <laughs> you'll realise that proportional representation gets you stuck with the same lot all the time. And you can't remove them because the scumbags all work together to they alter the vote and they, the one party votes for the other lot to keep them in certain areas. That's how it works in Wales. And uh, for instance, in Wales, most of the seats in Wales for the Welsh Assembly come from Cardiff or the areas where there's lots of people. So they chuck lots and lots of money at them areas. And that's how they get in. If you go and look on the political map, most of the seats for the Senedd come from Cardiff. And Labour have them all because they just chuck millions and millions at Cardiff. And... Uh, up North Wales is mostly Plaid Cymru because they worked. <coughs> oh God, sorry, I still got this flu. Um, Plaid Cymru and Labour work together to get them really. So it does look a little bit um, interesting. No, reform are really snapping at their heels now, and I've noticed on lots of the Welsh media they are scared. They don't. They're not admitting it, but they are. So, um, as you know, I'm no member of Reform the Party, but I do, I do think they, the establishment needs a good kick in the ass by having somebody else deciding some things for a change. They got it too easy, really. So, uh, that was one thing with Carol Vorderman. Another thing was she said she was working at the last election with some, uh, I forget what it was called, some group. She basically brought it all together where they were vote harvesting. So they were getting people, getting information of different areas in the UK. And then they were getting people to vote for Liberal Democrat to get Liberal Democrats in, in areas. So they were trying to fix the vote. She said the areas openly about it, how they were vote fixing. So that's how there's so many Liberal Democrats uh, MPs this time. It's pretty sinister isn't it and these people are they don't see how mad they sound i don't think if somebody like me says things out in the open 
you get called right winger or whatever or a lunatic. You're just saying what everybody thinks, really. And um, people are just afraid to say it. Now, when I listen to these people talking, like she used to be on Countdown, that's, that's her claim to fame. That's it. But suddenly she knows everything. Now, uh, I just get a bit worried when very educated people don't know what a male and a female is. They think the world's gonna end in 12 months. And they think if you pay extra taxes to everybody, the world's gonna be cooler. Ooh, a remedial class, I think. I, I spelled a spell in remedial class when I was younger. I think they wanna go back there. So, um, what's the world coming to, eh? You got people, Earlier, my mother came round and we just happened to be watching the TV and uh, I think it was GB News on or something and we just happened to look across and this woman was basically saying everybody who votes for reform are racists. can't believe she said that really. Because lots of her own Labour voters vote for it. What a horrible thing to say, isn't it? To think so lowly of people that just because they disagree on the immigration thing, you're, uh, you're not worthy, is it? You know, it's horrible, isn't it? So, a bit better camera steady today. I, I've got an iPhone 8, see, it's an old iPhone, and it's starting to show its age now with the cameras and things, and it's not as clear as it should be. My uh, DJI camera is very, very good, but I've got to go and upload that onto the app before I can upload it. So that's why I tend to do a bit more on the phone these days. So um, I think I might have to update the old phone. So this is a bit of age on this one now. So like I always say, thank you very much for subscribing. Um, really appreciate it. It's ju I'm just a normal guy. Says what he thinks. I don't lie. That's my problem. I, perhaps I should lie more, but I don't. I just find you better just saying straight to people what you think. And some people don't like it. They'd rather you lying about things but I'm not like that like yesterday I went metal detecting yesterday like I tell you I love the sand was in only found weights didn't find nothing else just uh, weights but I still enjoyed it and uh, I'll put a little video up explaining how then that other detector worked and everything now the next day or two but like I said I'm a bit under the weather at the moment so all the best gas yes.